Rob, Robert and Martin, thank you very much for lining up uh, the earlier presentations about construction, about <coughs> air quality and about the, the impact of, of health in, in, um, in terms of air quality. My focus, I'm a serial entrepreneur and this is my make the difference business. And I believe we can actually do a huge amount of things here and focusing about transport pollution. We're building the first innovative default solution to help freight companies prove they are delivering in a zero or low emission environment. <clears throat> There's tons of news about air quality. You know, we have, we have actually exceeded the EU threshold for air quality already by the beginning of February. Uh, we know there's issues with the vehicle manufacturers from the lab testing to real world testing being hugely different and able, the ability to cheat on, on, on vehicle compliance. We've got local authorities having the reaction to, okay, let's build loads of low emission zones and zero emission areas. You know, Oxfordshire are putting in, Oxford City Centre putting in a zero emission zone in 2020. Zero emission. How do you manage and deliver that? You know, if you think about it from a hybrid electric vehicle, how do we know the hybrid is actually going electric in their last delivery point? So there's lots of really challenging things going on. And electric is fantastic, but it's not going to get there quick enough for our children to not suffer the consequences of poor air quality. So we need to find a slightly faster, more aggressive approach to get stuff done. <clears throat> and this is what MSOL is about. Um, my partner and I, I think, provide the huge competitive advantage to this business. We've been around long enough to, in, in terms of the freight sector. I've grown a, a technology company. We did the mapping for the Olympics. I built my first SaaS routing solution for the freight logistics industry, and that company was acquired by DPD. My partner, Steve, he was the head of transport for London on freight, and we both have a common vision. And that common vision is we can use the power of procurement to make a huge change. If all these CEOs really cared about air quality, they could enforce their supply chain and say, prove to me you're delivering goods and services I buy off you, and prove to me that you're delivering low emission environments. If we could start tipping the balance from the procurement point of view, then we've got something made. Because one thing we do know for sure, the freight industry don't care about penalties or fines or paying extra for a vehicle. That is not strong enough to really have an impact. So our solution is fairly straightforward. It's an IoT-based platform. It's built into three phases. We have to go through the detection process. And the detection process is putting these tags into the vehicles. And these tags <coughs> um, are fairly low cost, and you can stick them onto the windscreen. So the objective is, is to tag up hundreds and thousands of vehicles really fast. We have air quality. Air, air quality monitoring is becoming cheaper and cheaper. IoT air quality sensors are just amazing with the opportunities there. So we're tapping into that market. We're extracting the IP for us is pretty much the analysis and targeting and the interventions around that data. So it's all about data play. And with that data play, you get the engagement, you get the freight operators lined up, and you have continuous improvement. So they're continuously offering them advice and support for how to evolving and to make sure they're winning good contracts and managing their business. So that's your SaaS offering there and then. In terms of the market opportunities, we're going to land the business in the construction sector. And uh, the construction sector is a good example. Crossrail, when that kicked off, that, drew, that, that, that grew standards phenomenally across the industry, particularly around cycle safety. Now, the construction sector have this thing called FORS and, and the construction logistics things, and that enables them to say, here's the level of, of standards and quality we want. And so, so we can target a lot of the construction sites and their standards already to drive air quality measurements in. And that market alone is 20 million pounds for us a year. And that's pretty easy for us to capture. And then once we get that evolving, and that will grow <coughs> to uh, across the UK for all other sites, and certainly other cities globally, once we deliver London, we'll be very interested in what we're trying to do. So the, mod the pricing model that we've, we've structured the business at is fairly low cost. We do market testing at the moment on this one. So 10 pounds per vehicle per month, and 500 pounds for the sites. So the objective for us is to can we get 5,000 vehicles uh, kept onto a platform. The beauty about construction sites, a construction site typically has 350 deliveries a day representing 200 freight operators. If that construction site says you've got to have one of the tags to come in, we can start tagging up thousands of vehicles really quick. And with that, we've got tons of data. And getting to 70,000 vehicles to 11 million revenue per annum gives us lots of investment to go and keep developing it and uh, the IP for the business. I think the solution that MSOL's got is very scalable. We don't need to take trucks off the road. 
and it is a fairly low cost option. The other, the other options are you could strap tons of sensors onto vehicles, but that's pretty expensive. I've got my red card. Um, <clears throat> the, the, big, the big aspect of development is noise. Uh, urban logistics will have to move congestion out, will have to, to address the noise problem. But thanks very much. I think that's a, hopefully giving you a flavor of where we, where we are going. Um, and, and apologies that I've run so, so short. There's too much to talk about this business. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.